Good afternoon, welcome on in to another episode of From Day One, along with lovely Chickadee over here next to me. The court case that we lost from last night, uh, yesterday actually, we'll pick up with today as we rock through Dominion. Has that, has that amount been paid? No. Okay, alright. And was there, oh, excuse me, excuse me, so, oh, I just have some very specific and limited questions for both of you, and I would appreciate if you both just answer the specific yeah, questions hard. I'm asking. Um, was yeah, there a date certain my... in the Harger order huh? on which Mr. Nguyen was ordered to remit to you that $1,937 amount? Yes. Yeah. 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 I believe so, Your Honor. We're going to pull up the order for the court. We'll ask you to take judicial notice of your court file. I just want to win. I think she said he wants her PAC. I would think he was ordered to pay it. You don't have your PAC? Oh, maybe. You don't want up there? Mike, what do you got for us? Just a minute. I'll get it for you. Hold on. Let her fold one. Uh, May the 6th, 2022, Your Honor. Yeah, I think this is the first time for uh, I've had this judge on. Okay, I'm confused because I thought you told me it was through July 6th. Is that your first time you had this person, Mikey? This judge, I mean? I'm sorry. I was, have been so many hearings, I get a little confused. This was through uh, April the 7th of 2022. Not July. Yes, ma'am. That's right. So in April of 2022, Judge Harvard ordered this $1,900 amount, roughly. Okay. It has not yet been paid, and it was supposed to be paid by May 2022. Is that right? May 6, 2022. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Very good. That's that's my question. Now, um, I've asked a couple questions, Mr. Gwynn, so I'm going to give you one more opportunity to ask a relevant question about the issue of attorney's Good luck on that relevant that part. Powers is requesting if you have one about that. And if you do, you may ask it now. Your Honor, IRS handles those kinds of issues, but, you know, earlier Mr. Uh, Mr. Powers said that there was a $6,000 if you note in the beginning of this hearing, he said there was a $6,000 fee uh, that he had, and, uh, you know, it's changing, and it, and it constantly changes, and this is what Mr. Powers just bar constantly has been bearing. Yeah, and the reason it changes is because you keep bringing him to court, so he has to keep spending more time in court, which generates more money that you have to pay. Yes, dummy, it's changing because you keep doing stupid things, so he has to come back to court, and then you want to come back, Atticus? Uh huh. That's how it works. Oh, come here, me for years. Okay, so that's not a question. It's a statement. You are allowed to make statements in the closing argument, and when it's your turn to testify, I simply want to know if you have a question. Yes, I'm. To answer, what is the question you want to ask him the question about is how his stupid request for attorney's fees as testified to this morning? I definitely want a detail. I would like a counting of it all. Ask him a question, Mr. Gwynn. Take a would, Ask him a question. I would, I would like to request it. Yo, quiero questione. Ask the question. Tell her, Mary. Ask question. Mm. See? She says yes. Detailed accounting of everything that he claims that I owe. And, and, and I would also like proof of this detailed accounting of what I owe. And I will, and I will take it under consideration. But I need to see proof. Where does he get these numbers from? Oh, aren't you privileged? You don't want to see proof of that I'll take it under advisement? No, you'll fucking pay it. <laughs> because they constantly grow, and, and it's like the 125000 that he claims that I owe. Where Where's the proof of that? How do I owe that much, and why? <laughs> Thank you, Mike, for the little dramatic gopher music there. That's because, A, you're a fucking moron. B, did I mention you're a fucking moron? And C, lawyers are not going to do work for free. You keep making them appear in court, they're going to keep charging your ass. To know why. And and, and uh, so I'd like a detail to keep seeing, and I will take it under full consideration. Do you have any other questions that you wish to ask Mr. Powers? What is this question? And, and my other Google question is, when will I get that? Never. Any other question you want to ask him? If he can get, if he can just answer that for us. 
Um, he's not required to give you what you've asked for today. And that or is beyond day. the scope of what you're allowed to ask any questions about today with regard to the 125000 I will construe your question about the accounting of his attorney's fees, and I will ask Mr. Powers to answer a question about whether or not he has detailed... You want to go in your room and have the attorney's fees he's requesting today. Mr. Powers, what is your answer to that question? And, and, and Your Honor, I accept that. Hang on a minute. Let's let him ask... One second. Because I'll, I'll, I'll be more than happy to go turn your TV on and get it on Bluey for you. You want to? Yeah, that way you can lay down in your little deal in there and watch your bluey. You want that? I'll, I'll even get up and do it right now if you want to. Yeah. All right, back to the case, guys. Ask, answer that question first, and then you can ask another one. Mr. Powers? Your Honor, I keep contemporaneous billing on a, a tenth by tenths of an hour. Uh... And, uh, and so there is, in fact, a detailed um, billing of that. I will show the court uh, petitioners number 23. Big surprise, there's yeah, proof. Big surprise, there's and actual proof. This uh, breaks out. For the court, my billable time and the billable time of my paralegal, um, we will offer 23, and I will uh, submit. Is 20, that. So let me just clarify: is 20, 23 is your um, billable hour invoice records of your attorney's fees? Is that what you're telling me? Yes, Your Honor. Yes, ma'am. Uh, is it an accurate reflection of the fees that you're requesting today and other fees listed in the exhibit? Yes, ma'am. Mr. Gwynn, do you uh, have any objection to uh, the admission into evidence of petitioner's exhibit number 23? I would like to have it sent to me so I can uh, consider it fully. Yes. <laughs> do you have any objection to me looking at it, having it come into evidence? Yes, I do, because you're not supposed what to try is, to What is your legal objection to why I should not be able to look at his attorney's fees? Legal objection? Wait, I'm supposed to actually have a legal objection to that? I just don't want to, Your Honor. Affidavit. Or request. I don't know if you can practice law from the bench. <laughs> oh, go oh, fly, oh, fly, guy. That's like my little Addie's nephew going in and telling Bingo, yeah, you know, just go ahead and don't play keep me up. I, I don't intend to, and nor do I believe that's what I'm doing. I'm asking to tell me what your legal objection is to the admission of this piece of evidence. What's your objection? Yeah, you legal you objection, can't. you have to it. Is it hearsay? No, no. Is it something else? That's no, you can't. It hasn't, it hasn't been put under consideration and you can't practice law from Where's the bench. The okay. It hasn't been put under consideration. If I put there and I'll have her up, I'll go put William for you. That's the dumbest objection. Oh, it's fantastic. Oh, it's so good. Okay, I, I don't understand your answer to my question. My my question to you, I, I, let I me, let me, let me, excuse me, let me summarize, let me summarize. Mr. Powers is offering this document regarding his attorney's fees that you requested. He's offering that piece of evidence into this hearing as petitioner's exhibit number 23. My question to you is whether or not you have an objection to petitioner's exhibit number three. And if you do, what is the nature of your legal objection to the introduction of this document? I don't want yes, to, Your I Honor. Do. And I, I, I haven't seen it. it you know, it damages my it, case. And, it and, and then take it under full consideration once I do that. Okay, that objection overruled. Petitioner's exhibit number 23 is admitted. Okay, I'm assuming that's a yes. Okay. Do you have any other questions you wish to ask Mr. Powers? No. Well, I would like to name him. Whose name do I put on the finance? And the that is not a question, Mr. Gwynn. You've asked that several times. That is not a question about his request for attorney's fees. So if you have any questions for him about his request for attorney's fees, I will let you ask it. Otherwise, we will move on. Your Honor. Yeah, I, I would. I, I'll, I'll accept.
accept them after full consider after I review them and 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 then give full consideration. And and, okay. and, 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 and shut up. So we will move on. Mr. Powers, do you have any other witnesses or other Thank evidence for that at this time? I have uh, the petitioner's <laughs> number <laughs> twenty-one, Your Honor. Which is what? What do you got there, sir? Petitioner, I'm going to share it with the court. This is a purported payment that Mr. Wynn sent to my portal. Oh, this ought to be uh, interesting. For payment. Oh, yeah. It's always always good to pay with a hot check. Because <laughs> <laughs> it is out of <laughs> court-ordered uh, fees. All right. Here we go. Of $5,000 dated uh, the October 18th is when it was uh, the payment due payment date on this document and um, so yeah um, this is since the October uh, 6th hearing in front of me in advance of the October 21st hearing yes ma'am okay this is, this is one of the when, we, this, this is one of the reasons we kicked the case down the road and tries to sell that was right waiting now. for this to clear and you'll see that it in fact did not clear I get you. All right, Mr. Gwynn, Mr. Powers has offered the transaction receipt for the payments for that you indicated you were going to make. Of course, and, Mike. Uh, he's offering this as evidence that those didn't clear the bank. You've indicated that they didn't clear the bank either, so I don't think they're in dispute. But I'll ask if you have any legal objection to the introduction of the documents. And if so, what is your legal objection? I don't have well, a legal objection. payment is payment. And is on, baby. Electronic fund transfer was successful. I checked with Telecheck and it's confirmed there's been no refunds. Do you have a, a legal objection to the introduction of the document into evidence? You want bingo and rolly? You can dispute it if you want to when you testify. That's fine. But the question is, is there a legal reason why I should accept the document in evidence? Yes, I would like to inspect it first. <laughs> Alright, well he's showing it to Mr. Gwen. I understand that you have objected to the objection is overruled in the document. Is it Mr. Powers, is there any other evidence you wish to offer at this time? Petitioner's twenty one and petitioner's twenty three are admitted. Anything else? Yeah, I think he's fucked at that point, Your Honor. Um, this one you wanna watch, baby? I think I'm gonna rest. I'm gonna rest at this point, Your Honor. Sorry, right, because I've already won. Mr. Gwynn, uh, Mr. Powers has rested his case in chief. It's now your opportunity uh, mm -hmm. to put on your case in chief, and you may do that by offering documents into evidence, oh, by calling well. witnesses, this or by offering testimony on your own behalf. Awesome you think what is your be. pleasure with regard to how you wish oh, to Oh, Mike, next? what did you got you for us? call a witness, or offer some documents, or call yourself as a witness? The first thing I'd like to do is... Uh, Ask who gets my bill? Who gets the bill for renting my son? What? So that is that is neither of the options that you have. That doesn't fall into any of those Apparently, the attorney's going to get a bill for renting his son. Okay. <laughs> so you can do yeah. a couple of things, right? You can call the witness. Do you have any other witnesses you wish to call? I don't. But and hold on, um, can hold I call, on, hold on. Can I call my can I call my own delusional self? You might introduce some documents, very much like the process we just went through with Mr. Powers' two documents. Do you today have any documents you wish to offer into oh, evidence today? Dead. I do, ma'am, and I I put them in evidence. I, I uploaded them into the. Okay. Uh, well, tell me the number of the exhibit ooh, that you want to offer, one, and then we'll take a look at them, and then we'll see number if there's any objections to them, and we'll stupid. proceed from there. Uh, and so what number exhibit did you upload that you want me to consider as evidence? Um, uh, and do you wish to testify about those documents, by the way? I do. Yes, ma'am. Okay, let, me, let me go ahead and swear you in. If you'll raise your right hand, I'll swear you in. Oh, here we go. Oh, this ought to be or rich. Affirm under the penalty of perjury that the testimony you will give in this cause will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Uh, folks, if you didn't realize that's my sister, Kimberly's voice. Uh, sovereign citizens getting sworn in behind the front of judge. This, I said, this ought to be rich. I do, Your Honor. Okay. All right, Mr. Gwynn, if you could just state your name for the record, please. Jonathan Daniel Gwynn. All right, Mr. Gwynn, tell me the... the hey, Mike, at least that's a positive. Because most of these will say I'm Michael, comma, colon, underscore, hyphen, win, space, hyphen, dash, of the family, such and such. 
So at least I give this guy a half a point. Yeah, exhibit numbers that you wish much. to offer, and if you could just briefly describe what those exhibits are, we'll go through those one at a time, please. So, Your Honor, the first one is a uh, uh, filed and recorded promissory note. I'm not what's sure. The, what's the exhibit number? Well, I don't. I do not know the exhibit number. I'd have to get off my. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, I'm assuming that's a yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And, Wait, uh, you said you uploaded them. Did you upload I, some sort of order? I uploaded. Uh, so I have three documents that I want to submit. The first, the first one is the promissory note. That's the last one that I submitted. Okay, I'll tell you what. Let's do this. Let, since there are only three of them, it won't be that complicated, and we we can renumber them for you. Yeah, let's just let's go call through all three. Let's promissory note exhibit number respondents exhibit number one. Okay. Okay. And that'll be the promissory note. What is Respondent's Exhibit Number Two? What's the second document? It's My a contempt of hearing notice. <laughs> exhibit Number Two. Oh my! He brought us a good one. Contempt hearing notice. Okay. And ex and what's Thank the third you. document? One second, Your Honor. Come on, affidavit of truth. Make it an affidavit of truth. Uh, in that no, there's an allonge to the promissory note, but the other one is my Turner, my Turner and Rogers request. I don't know what you mean by Turner and Rogers request. Is so that the promissory note? For, hold on, hold on. If you're looking at this third document, we're going to call request. that Respondent Exhibit Number Three. Is there uh, what we it might call a, a like title bullshit. of the document, sure something is. at the top that we could refer to? And if so, what is that? Affidavit in support of sua sponte motion pursuant to court. <laughs> What the hell? I needed a good laugh this weekend, but still bye. Support of a suicide motion. I don't want to drag this to the ground. I can't tell you how stupid that is. Incredible. It's new level stupid. Suicide means the judge does it themselves without anybody doing anything. So you don't move or have an affidavit or anything. <laughs> it, by definition, it means the judge is acting without any outside stimulus. <laughs> yeah, so in other words, you got a form to let the judge do what the judge normally does because she's going to do without any, you know, interaction from you. Brilliant! Just <laughs> fucking brilliant! Oh, even the dog looks at you. Oh my god, yeah, we got a white dog here by the name of Lulu. She loves to go and wait. A Labrador. Little, uh, is it a lab just a Labrador or a Labrador Retriever? I think it's a Labrador. Okay, we'll just call it a good lab. But even she looked over like, how dumb is that guy? <laughs> oh, it's so good. It's so good. I'll just leave it there. Mr. Gwynn, the last part of what you said uh, cut out, you said affidavit in support of sui sponte motion pursuant to, and then I didn't hear what you said. DFR 303.6. And then on my promissory note of... of wait, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, Are there other documents other than those three? No, uh, yes, ma'am, because on my promissory hold note... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, idiot. Is there another document that we could mark as Respondents Exhibit Number Four? And if so, what is the title of that document? If you, what you're telling me, hold on. If what you're telling me is that Exhibit Number One contains a lot of other things with it, that's all part of Exhibit Number One and will be considered all as all together. I'm asking. You told me you had three documents. We've marked those one, two, and three. I'm just trying to figure out if there's a fourth one. Or if you now want to stop no, talking about no, other documents no, and just tell me about the three that I'm trying to understand. You keep yours, Eddie. You want one, you okay, can have the other. So three, on money. the three, on the on the promissory note, there's an allonge to the promissory note. Your is, Honor. is it part of what okay. you uploaded into the box? It is. Exhibit number one with the promissory note? Yes, it is. I'm going to consider all of that number one. And I'm okay. going to consider the contempt jittery notice number two. And I'm going to consider the affidavit in support of the uh, sua, sante, sua sponte notion, motion. I'm going to consider that number three. So now okay. that's going to be the All right. So, one. Mr. Powers, any objections to respondents' exhibits one, two, or three? I, I'm not. Yeah. I wasn't, Your Honor. Yeah. I also would. I also would like to submit tax forms eighty-three hundred, 
tax forms. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait now we're going to submit tax forms. Attached to these documents. So I need you to tell me yeah, we're going to submit tax forms. We can make that okay. four, but I think in, in the courtroom, we're going to submit tax forms. That's why I stopped. Yep. All right, I'm... It's okay. What's number four? Uh, tax form. Number four. Tell him, Eddie. We're going to submit uh, tax forms now. Uh, that was already he gave me number four. No, no, just tell me what the document no. is that you want marked as exhibit number no, no, no. I do not have a number four yet. 4506A tax form and number and number uh, six is a W4 hey, and number seven yeah, is a 1099 yeah. and the number eight is a 14309 tax form <laughs> and number nine is a third 3949A and this a law and I'm already giving my launch and then a 1309 wait 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 wait, wait. number nine is a you take this shit seriously. What? 39498. Oh tax form. And what's number 2? Give her a decision. 13909 tax form. Okay. Sure. Okay. And then a 211. 11. And then a 12 is Wait, wait. What is 211? What is that? Tax form. 211. All right. Tax form and the tax form 911. Is that number 12? Yes, ma'am. Oh, yeah. I like her. Oh, okay. And into further detail, there were drugs involved that people were uh, giving to me that uh, ended up being blue. Oh. Like, I smoked some blue and some. I thought I was smoking crack. And... Yeah, it sounds like you might have been smoking and, some crack. And crap. I need a copy of their W7. No, 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 no. These right <laughs> now is just your introduction of documents that you want considered in evidence, not requests for other people. Seven exists. Do you have, an Do you have any other exhibits you wish to offer? Hey. Yes, ma'am. I would. I'd like to offer their forms. W7, W8, W9, and FR2046. I don't know what you mean when you say you want to offer their forms. Have you uploaded documents into the box folder as required by our rules? Documents that you want to ex that you want to offer in your box folder. Do you I, have those available today? Yes, I do. And I, right. and I What is the number? Next number would be 13. What is number 13 that you want to offer? I would like to offer W7. 14 is W8, 15 is W9, 16 is an F, as in Frank, R2046. Yeah, Amy. Okay. Good to see you. No. Any other documents you want to offer today? Don't ask him, Your Honor. No, we'll be here that, all week. That, that, that'll do it. I'm, all right. Those oh, are 16 God. documents. I might need a little more information uh, about some of them. 16 documents for the city. Tell me... Uh, about the uh, tax form 8300, which is marked as exhibit number, number that something. document, and why is it relevant to this machine? Your Honor, I wasn't done. I had one more, and it's called a 56F. I'm so sorry to, to oh, do that. No problem. 56F will be number 17. What is a tax form 8300, <laughs> and why is it relevant to these proceedings? Come on, FinCEN, guy. And I have to report the money. It's a FinCEN. I have to report the money. What does it have to do with whether or not you are in compliance with your child support obligation? Because I have to be in compliance with the IRS, Your Honor. We all do. Okay. All right. And is that the kind of the same nature of these the imp of these documents, like uh, say, for example, the the numbers eight? 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. They 18, also say for tax forms. Are those 19, related 20, 20, in some 20, way 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. to some obligation you have to the IRS? Yes, Your Honor. And, and okay. it's also, I can't get that for my social security number. Hang on. You answered my question when you said yes. Number four, uh, sorry, number six, respondents exhibit number six, which is a W4. Who, who's W4 is that? Yours? I couldn't hear you. Uh, there, there's your honor. W four exhibit number six, the W four form. That's who, whose name is on the W four? Powers. I would. 
Okay. Okay, this goes right, more. I think I have a sense. Thank you. This is really helpful. Oh, uh, another question about your exhibit number two. What hearing notice, contempt hearing notice, does, oh, is that? For what that's hearing? all right. <laughs> that is for uh, Turner uh, Rogers. Uh, well, no, that is the. Uh, um, I'm that's sorry, dude. Let me get that. Let me pull that up. You told me that number one was a promissory note. You told me number two was a contempt hearing notice. I want to know what hearing is related to that notice. <sighs> Exhibit number two. Okay, so that is a no, uh, a judicial notice of Article One, Section Ten, Clause One of the United States Constitution, which states. Wait, wait, hold on, stop, stop. <laughs> I'm asking. You're the you're the you're you the asking, your honor. It was a hearing notice. I'm simply asking what hearing date is mentioned in that notice, and in what court? That's my question. I, I've requested a hearing for it, Your Honor, but um, but it's to, to, because no state shall make anything but gold or silver coin a tender in payment of debts or law impairing the obligation of contracts. This state prosecutors... Mr. Gwen, stop. 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 Is the hearing notice that you marked as exhibit number two filed in this cause number in Travis County, Texas? Yes. <laughs> It is filed now for the third time. I filed in, in, it. In this tra it, my question is, is it a hearing notice in which there is a hearing scheduled in this cause number in Travis County, Texas? Does the notice tell you or Ms. Oren to be present at a hearing in Travis County, yes or no? Absolutely, Your Honor. It's been stamped. And it's okay, all right. Very good. And if it tells somebody to be in a court hearing in Travis County, can you tell me the date of that it was it was never set. It was never set, Your Honor. And I put I put it in court now over six months ago. All it's right. Okay. And I have. I know that's so cool. Stop. That's so cool. I'm just trying to get a sense of what hearing date it's a reference to. Thank you. Okay, sorry, I didn't have my thinking cap on for one. For yeah, two, I, I this was sent to me. I didn't know. I had a bunch of stuff going on, so I didn't watch it. I'm sorry I was laughing that much, but uh, a bunch of this I didn't see, and it just, <laughs> the, the, I mean, I'm used to a lot, but that stupidity just, just, it, it was profound. It, it, it surprised even, me. Even, even the attorney thing. All right, Mr. Powers, your opportunity now to tell me if you have any objection to any of the exhibits that have been offered. Let's start with the first three. Any objection to one? Your, your Honor, Your Honor, one more thing is, um, all this is for the foreign, the foreign thing. Foreign agency registration. Act. These documents are for. Thank you, Mr. Gwynn. Gwynn. Now, Mr. Gwynn. 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 I'm breaking them down in kind of by sort of category. So yeah, um, those are a little bit different from the tax form. So let's now move to the tax forms, which, as I understand it, relate to the offer of exhibits four through 17. What objection? Yeah, yeah, exhibits four through 17 on the basis of relevance. Okay. All right. Mr. Gwynn. The relevance objection suggests that none of these documents are related to the matter before the court today. I'll give you very briefly an opportunity to why they might be Please relevant to whether honor. or not the um, suspension of commitment should be uh, given effect today. Did you my IRS, I, my, to do with this case? my IRS agent would like to keep all of us in complete, and I need all those documents, anything that I spend, put out. What did he, say? he just say? My IRS agent would like that. Yeah, I, I don't he did. Who cares? First of all, you don't have an, an IRS agent. Let me see I mean, that's just wrong, conceptually. Yep, <laughs> conceptually, <laughs> stupidly, and otherwise. And second of all, I don't care. No. It's not relevant. No relevance. I, for, I need to have for my uh, IRS agent. Okay. All right. Very good. That's very helpful. The it's really not helpful. To one through <laughs> Something. It's very helpful that it confirms the irrelevancy. This I was I was 99%. This was irrelevant. But after you opened your mouth, it ticked over to 100. Thank you. Thank you for playing. But please know, Mr. Gwen, that for purposes of the appellate record, 
all exhibits that are offered, whether admitted or not, will become part of the, the, the case record and available for the appellate court review. So it's we'll continue we'll continue to keep them in our records. They'll just and if this ever goes before an appellate court, I assure you, they'll peruse those documents and say, yep, they're irrelevant. Just not be considered for purposes of the hearing today. Now, Mr. Quinn, your opportunity next is for you to offer some additional testimony. Um, and because you're representing yourself, uh, it would be silly to ask you to, to ask yourself a question and then answer it. So I will let you testify oh, you ask yourself the hearing to before. However, if you hear me interrupt you, or if you hear Mr. Powers interrupt by saying the word objection, then I need you to stop your testimony until I've had a chance to deal with the objection that he raises. Or if I need to interrupt you uh, for various reasons, I will let you know. But so... Now, though, it's your opportunity to tell to be me stupid. Uh, whatever evidence you want to offer by way of testimony with regard to just the matter before the court, which is whether or not your uh, suspension of the jail order that Judge Baker entered should be given effect or not. Should, should I send you to jail um, or not? And whether please, or not I should please send you to send that order jail. by uh, ordering that you can stay out of jail by paying some amount of money. It can be some amount you pick or some amount that if you wish to, to react to the number that Mr. Powers gave, you can do that as well. I'm ready now for your testimony just on those relevant matters pertaining to the hearing today and none other. Okay. Thank you, Your Honor. Your Honor, um, first off, uh, I object to uh, representing oh, oh. myself as a person. I'm actually representing the you're the one that chose to do this without an attorney. So how the fuck do you get off objecting to the fact that you're representing yourself when you're the one who asked to represent yourself? A corporate Jonathan Daniel Gwynn name is who I'm representing. Uh, the uh, Not me as a person. I'm, I'm representing the all caps name. You cannot represent a... Oh, sweet Jesus! Thank you. Because corporations by Texas law must be represented by licensed attorneys... You've told me you're not a licensed attorney, so you're not allowed to represent anybody other than yourself, and you certainly may not be allowed to represent a corporate entity. We'll move on. I do not, I do not represent myself, Your Honor. I, I do not okay, represent well, Let's Let's move on. Let's pass. I understand. Let's move on. Let's you're move on. an idiot. Continue. What else? He represents himself, but he objects to representing himself. Yes. I, I'm, I'm just saying, if you're, if you're at home, I I had the thinking cap on, so I can I can translate this for you. Are, are you... <laughs> I'm asking for yes, he whatever is testimony you wish to provide at this time. Your Honor, I would like to know if you're standing on your oath today. I, I would like to, to know if you have any additional testimony you wish to provide because you're on the witness stand. <laughs> it's your opportunity to give testimony. It is not your opportunity to ask questions. This is your opportunity to tell me your side of the story. And I want to hear it. So tell me your side of the story. I just want to know if you're standing on your oath today, Your Honor. That's I am all. not going to respond to questions because it would be interrupt inappropriate for me to do so in that way, at least to that question. I want to know if you have any additional testimony. If you do, I want to hear it. If you don't, we will move on. I'm sorry, Your Honor. I do have other questions, but I just need to know if you're standing on your oath today. That's all I'm asking. Mr. Quinn, okay. you will pass yourself as a witness unless in the next 30 seconds. You okay. provide testimony. If you do not provide testimony in the next 30 seconds, we will. Cons I will consider that you have no testimony on this matter to offer. So your choice, sir, provide testimony since you're now on the witness stand or stand down from the witness stand. Your choice. You have, you have testimony to provide, but you don't. If you do, you need to give it to me now. Okay, uh, Your Honor, I just have some questions. I, I accept that you're not standing on your oath today, I guess. I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I just All, to know right, Mr. All right, get the fuck off the stand. Mr. Gwynn, because he has passed himself as a witness by virtue of the fact that he has violated my direct order to provide testimony since he's been sworn in and is now providing testimony as a witness. You may ask him any questions if you like. And that's how it's done. Um... No, well, I don't know. I don't need to ask any questions. I don't need to ask any questions. I won. Oh, Your Honor. Mr. Powers, you may make a brief closing argument. Please don't. Um, I believe the record is abundantly clear. Mr. Gwynn appeared in court 
Through counsel, thank you, Elaine. He agreed to the imposition of the sentence. We're asking you to. I, I, I did not agree. It's an objection. He agreed on the record. I did not. Agree. Counsel, excuse me, Mr. Gwynn. I have noted several. You did effing too. <laughs> thank you, you agreed Mike. to have it in writing. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Nobody cares. But uh, how do you? How do you say that with a straight face? Times that Judge Mangrum's docket notation indicates that you did in fact agree. It's okay if you disagree with that. You can tell me about your disagreement to that when it is your turn to make your closing argument. Right now, it's Mr. Powell's turn to make his closing argument. I ask you, please, to be patient until it is your turn to speak again. Mr. Powers, you may proceed. Um. So. Um. So it's abundantly it's clear way. that he was ordered to Not comply you. with a payment schedule. It is abundantly clear that he has failed to comply with the payment schedule. Yes, he has. Uh, what I think is particularly appalling is that Mr. Gwynn uh, submitted false documents that yes. were intended to represent that payments were made when they in fact were not correct uh this has been a very difficult case mr gwen has historically been an idiot projected gobbledygook legalistic arguments yeah, which have that. no merit gobbledygook and which are in fact um dilatory time consuming and costly for my client Mm -hmm. respond to. Accordingly, it's time that Mr. Gwen suffered the consequences of his failure to comply with the court's order. And we're asking that uh, the relief we re we requested at the beginning of the hearing be imposed upon Mr. Gwen at this time. Sounds good. All right. Thank you, Mr. Powers. Mr. Gwen, it's now your opportunity to make your closing argument. And we know. That might closing be relevant argument. To the issues before you are being forced to do so, you may do well. so. Let me warn you, sir. If you do not stick to the rules and make a closing argument that is relevant to the proceedings, I will interrupt you, and then I'll issue my order. So please, just please make a relevant argument to the matters before the court this morning. Yeah, and, you know, you never know how to. Your Honor, I do not consent to jail. You want you win. I do not consent to jail. I do not consent to jail. I don't know many people who do consent to jail. To, we'll continue. Uh, judge not answer about on oath. I do not consent to the judge standing not saying that. I do not consent to not being in compliance with the IRS. Really I do not consent right? to not being in compliance with the IRS. I do not consent Go ahead, Kim. You know what you sound like? What? Dr. Seuss. <laughs> oh my god, that, is, that is good. I am not a dog. I do, that Seuss. is good. I do not consent to green eggs and ham. I do not am, Sam. I, am. I will not eat them in a boat. I will not eat them in a plane. That's what I, you sound like. I will not kill you in a mic. I will not kill you with a That's flight. That's what he sounds like. Because he's like, consent to further I, do hearings. Not, I do not. I do not consent to further hearings. I do not no, consent to the renting of my son. I, I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not doing what you said. I'm not doing what you said. I'm not doing what you said. The renting of my son. I will say that again because that is my bloodborne son, and they have stolen him from me, and that's unconstitutional. And I also do not consent representing myself. I do not consent. To representing myself. Okay, I agree with you. You shouldn't be representing yourself, but you're not providing an attorney. It's a civil action. So cough up the dough, which you can't, because the last, the only payment we know of from you was bounced. So, you know, there you are. Do not consent to representing myself, Your Honor. And I have filed paperwork, paperwork that is constitutional paperwork that. Mr. Powers is calling Google Goggle, whatever. And there is judicial stand. Oh, when Mr. Crazy. Powers calls that gobbledygook. He was speaking true gobbledygook. On my paperwork over the past 12 months. 
that I have filed over and over again, and they just get ignored and completely ignored, and they are on the record. Ignored is is generous. If it was taken seriously, you it should be sanctioned. Paper. Yeah. They are on file, and they completely ignored. And I use. Toilet paper? I use. Your Honor, are we losing him? Oh, are you losing the dog? I can't hear you, Mr. I, I want to stay of court pending a... I want to stay of court pending a United States tax court. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else by way of closing argument? Yeah, anyway, off you idiot. Okay! I want to stay of court pending the United States tax court. By way of a closing argument that's yeah. relevant to the issues. I want to stay of court pending United States. Yes, you said that three times, sir. Is there anything else? No, he's stupid, Your Honor. Um, I just do not consent to go to jail, Your Honor. I've been, <laughs> I, I, I've already shown you this. Like, I don't know how many people have ever heard to say, yes, I want to go to jail. I think you could probably count them on one hand if I'm lucky. And I'm gonna. I want to say it one more time because. Oh please I, don't, I, Judge. I don't consent. You know, I, I know you uh, turned down my Turner hearing. I have a promissory note. Promissory note is constitutional. It's in law. My no, even my IRS agent said it. I could you're use it. Say, oh, and I've sure been wrongfully accused here over over years. I haven't seen my son since he was four years old. I raised him daily. And Mr. Powers Ooh, managed to take him, him away from me. And <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen him in four years, but I raised him daily. In my life. Guess what? Over this. And I have been I wrongfully accused of being a bad father answer. when I'm a great father. Daughter, you can see it on my internet. <laughs> you know, daily. Okay. How great a father I am to my like current daughter. Are you idiots? No. And I wasn't able to And people who never do it. Because this man has robbed me of that. This court has robbed me of that. And it is completely unconstitutional that I have done this and full constitutional principles and protection that was articulated by the U.S. Supreme Court. You know, and I incorporate by reference all over this courts are fully submitted pursuant to judicial notice section 201. The rules require a scalpel, not a butcher knife. And this court ordinarily must apply a segment of an affidavit. And none of my affidavits have been responded to, not one. And I've submitted probably over 50 affidavits, and they've all been stamped by the judicial clerk. And not one, not one has been responded to by a judge, Your Honor. Not one. And that is unlawful and it's unconstitutional. Uh, again, you're lucky because uh, the, the substance of all these things is absolutely sanctionable, I'm certain, without looking at it. So the fact that they're ignoring it is doing you a favor. Of course, it doesn't matter because you can't pay sanctions and, and, and you're headed to jail anyway. But, yeah, yeah, I mean, th th that's it. Th th I'm ignoring your gibberish is helpful to you, sir. Extremely helpful. And now I'm, front, now I'm asking a judge, Your Honor, with all due respect, and I'm here in front of a judge asking if you're standing on your oath, and I can't even get an answer there. Alright, I accept that. Can give us anything else? And I accept that. And, and default of this hearing. Default of the hearing. Upon, upon the court. By the court, Your Honor. Okay, anything else? Yay! I can go on and on, Your Honor. Uh, Please don't. Oh, we're aware. We're aware. We, we, uh, we absolutely, it's the first thing you said today I agree with. You can go on and on. Rid of this. And... Okay. All right. Thank you, Mr. Gwynn. Uh, well, all righty. Normally, I would allow the movement to have the last word uh, because he gets to rebut, but I don't think that's necessary here, Mr. Powers, because I think you've made your position clear on behalf of your client with regard to the relief you request. Uh, the relief is granted. Mr. Gwynn, what I want to remind you about is a couple of things. One, when you were here the first time I met you in October, you told me that you were turning your life around and that you were going to do the right thing and pay the amount of money that you owe. And you told me that because you were in that rehab facility, that you needed time to get out of there and get some money together. And I, oh, and I gave you that opportunity, um, but you didn't. 
you did keep your end of the bargain in, in that regard. Um, you showed up later that same morning behind the wheel of a vehicle. So you may not own one, but you clearly have access to one because you were driving a vehicle on on so when I asked you to pull oh, up, right? That's good. On, on, on the, on the, on the and, and excuse me, I also pointed out that you had changed your clothes. You were nicely dressed at the first part of our hearing. You were uh, more casually dressed later in the day when you were driving. And I questioned whether or not you were really at a rehab facility. But it's I'm, not the issue. You're excuse me, wrong. Mr. Gwen, it's excuse my me, turn. Moron. And but, but my point there is that I believe you nonetheless. I believe that you wanted time. I believe that you needed time. I believe that you were going to do your best having come out of that rehab facility that you were excited about being in and graduating from. And I believe that if given an opportunity, you would do the right thing and come up with the money you said you were going to come up with. And uh, uh, okay. excuse me, sir, I am not done. Thank you, Your Honor. for forgiveness because I can't do it. You to just be quiet while I... Mother, get the fuck so up! Oh, and go ahead and put yourself on mute now. <laughs> I believed you on October 6th, and I gave you a chance to do the right thing, and you did And then on October 21st, I gave you another chance, because on that day, you made me another promise, and yet you haven't kept that one either. On October 21st, you gave me a promise. You said, I'm going to pay these people this $5,000, and I'm going to pay them another twenty. Mr. Gwynn's your turn, and I'm going to pay some more money later. Oh, good Lord. you you got to be kidding me, Holly. No. We got people in the chat who actually know Jonathan Gwynn. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Call, Honestly, that's pretty cool. And I'm gonna make good on my promise, Judge. So please postpone this hearing one more time. I did with a promise hearing. To code. make a promise to you that I'm going to keep. So October 6th, you made me a promise you didn't keep. October 21st, you made me a promise you didn't keep. And now here on November 9th. Your Honor, I've eaten. Mr. Gwynn, if you don't stop talking, I'm going to ask my staff to mute your microphone. Please it's not do. Your turn. I gave you an opportunity to tell me something relevant about this hearing, and you did, and you talked, and you talked, and I kept asking you if there was anything else. And then when you stopped, I started. It is now your opportunity to be as respectful to me as I have been to you. So I would beg you, please, stop talking when I'm talking. He doesn't know how so, to do that, Your Honor. To summarize. I gave you a chance on October 6th. You gave me a promise you didn't keep. I gave you another chance on October 21st. Yes, you didn't you made me yet another promise which you did not keep. Yes, you not did. only did you not keep the promise, the funds you pledged turned out to be bogus and they didn't clear the bank. So that's problematic from my perspective that you've been given chance after chance, you made promise after promise, you squandered the chances and you broke the promises. I think we're at the end of our ability to be gracious to you anymore. I think now you have to show some grace and pay your debt. And you will begin by paying or you will go to jail. And so the order is as follows. The motion is granted. Mr. Powers will be directed to prepare an order to take. I want it to take so that it can be signed and, and given effect today and served on all the proper parties and sent to the proper authorities to be effectuated today. The order will reflect not no, only that the motion dead. is granted, but that Mr. Gwen is to be remanded to the Travis County Jail. He'll be told in that order where to report. I would imagine it would be downtown at the booking uh, station here and, uh, that is no. adjacent to the Who Travis dead. County Courthouse. It's the Blackwell Thurman Criminal Justice Building. Mr. Gwen, you, are in, you will be, because you have COVID, because that's what you have told us. I don't know whether that's true or not, but I have no reason to doubt it. And so since you turn yourself into jail right now. Thank you, El Paso. Oh, sweet Jesus. Why, what? what do you say this? COVID, I do not want you to report and infect others. And I want you to have an opportunity to heal and get better. And so because you have told me that you have COVID, I will require that your report uh -oh. date be at 10 a.m on November 15, 2022, instead of today, because I want you to have an opportunity to get better. So you will be required to report to the Travis County Jail uh, at, uh, uh, at 10 a.m. on November, no it. earlier, but That's no it. later than 10 a.m. on November 15, 2022. If you have paid before that date, 
by the 14th. If you have paid by the 14th of November the sum of $7,500, you will not have to report. That will not end your obligation. That just means you don't have to report and the suspended commitment will remain in effect. The wheels of justice are going to roll you right into the Wayne County Jail. Yes, they are, Your Honor. Few hearings, and you will still be subject to going to jail if you don't further comply. But you will prevent having to report on the 15th well, if by the 14th, by close of business, that means 5 p.m. on the 14th, if you have paid the sum of $7,500. Not pledged it, not written a check that doesn't yeah. clear, but actually remitted funds that clear the bank or cash, one or the other, mm, cash. that's valid negotiable tender. And if you do that by the 14th, you don't have to report on the 15th. If you don't do that by closing business on the 14th, you must report on the 15th. Mr. Powers will circulate that order and get it to me today. And that will conclude our business this morning. Apologies to those on the docket who I told we'd only be an hour because clearly we've gone more than that. Gentlemen, we are adjourned. Take care. Thank you, Your Honor, and thank you, Mikey. With that, we will bring the afternoon to a close. Of course, as always, please make sure you do like, share, and subscribe. Be kind to one another and release the Kraken. As you help us get closer to the 50,000 views, 1,000 subscribers here on From Day One. Have a great afternoon. We'll be back with the Sovereign Citizens tonight. Until then, rock on.